So when we're looking at division, we have f of g of x, which so that's basically asking us what is f of x divided by g of x. Right? I mean, that's all we're basically doing. So we just got to take one function and put it over the other function. Now, the interesting thing is if you were to look at if this was adding, subtracting, and, and multiplying, we wouldn't really be worried about what the domain is because we'd just say, oh, it's all real numbers because that's what f of x and g of x are. So the intersection of those two functions is going to be all real numbers. The problem is with division, we've created a new constraint. When we do this division, we take 3x plus 1 and we put it over negative x minus 2. We have now just created a new constraint for values in the denominator, right? Because now we know, oh, with division, we know we can't equal to 0. So even though we have all real numbers for these, when you put this function in the denominator, you've created a new constraint, right? So we have to restrict the domain based on that constraint. So we take our, use blue. So we take our denominator and we set it equal to 0. So we have negative x equals 2, x equals negative 2, right, without showing work. So therefore, domain is for all real numbers except for negative 2. And I saw some blank stares when I, looked, when I was graphing the domain. So let's, let's write out the domain again. The domain is all real numbers except for negative 2. So you write the domain. So if you're going to continue going left, that means you're going to go from negative infinity all the way to negative 2. But negative 2 is undefined, so you use parentheses. Then it continues after negative 2, and it continues all the way to infinity. Write it like just like that, or put in a union symbol to connect them. Either way. Okay. All right. Um, so now 